Welcome to Boxing Day. Boxing Day? What is it's that? National Boxing Day in Canada for my Canadian friends. Is it really? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know what you do. What do you do on Boxing Day? Somebody what? tell me. You box. Who? Ever, anyone? You box things up and you ship them. Oh, it's that kind of boxing yeah. day. I thought what it was kind like, of boxing? No, 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 it's the day where they box things. Oh, it's like, oh, so it's just National Amazon Day. Yeah, a lot of people, like a husband will come home and all of his things are boxed up and sitting <laughs> on the front yard. That's, bo that's boxing day. He's like, Welcome. she's all, happy boxing day. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> we'll be right back. Good morning, welcome to Wake Up! Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. We've got a great time planned for you today. What a great Christmas! It was wonderful. It was so amazing. The gifts and everything. I got everything I ever wanted. Yeah. And, and a couple extra things. And today we're going to be talking to you about um, Luke chapter, uh, no, Ezra chapter 8 and verse 21. Okay. And we got a scripture. We're going to pray every day. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We'd love to Sorry, read that on Wednesdays. Sorry, your gift Wednesdays. didn't come in. That's, it was just... Yeah, just, just being with you is a gift enough for me. And and many it, of us feel it that way. It may be too much. Right? It's all, too much all, of a gift. It is. It's a lot. I'm teasing. I got yeah. a gift. Yeah, it was wonderful. Ezra chapter 8 and verse 21. And, e and this is the part of the story where Ezra and well, the people are about to the, get the decree from the king, uh, Cyrus, that they're going to be built, rebuilding God's house. That's a cool... And there's all kinds of Zechariah's prophesying about this. Uh, Ezra's, there's all kinds of these moving parts that are happening because God's house had fallen apart. And right. God talked about how there's holes in their pockets because they haven't right. rebuilt the house. And, and so... He, they're they're just walk uh, the people they're all gathered they're headed that's like the starting line they're about to do this thing boom and it says in Ezra chapter eight and verse twenty one then I proclaimed a fast at the river of Ahava which in the Hebrew means I ha I have no food I have no food does it really yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have no food I have an empty belly <laughs> it's an awful joke that we might humble ourselves before our God so look at what fasting does. Okay. Okay. So we're humbling ourselves before our God, right? In other words, we're saying, God, we're going to need your help. We can't do that, right? right? When you humble yourself before God, what you're doing is you're empowering God through the idea that I need you to do the things I can't do. And that gets God excited. It does, because God I loves to this, help. I get excited when my kids are like, hey, I can't do this. I'm like, oh, yeah, Daddy can help. Yeah. I mean, when they really like need something from me, it, it empowers me because, get this, God wants to do life with you. Yeah. So many Christians go into 2020, and they're just they, everything in their life is just what they can do. you got to do some things that you can't do. Yeah. Things that I can only do with God because God wants to be a part of your world. And it's a humbling thing to say. I can do all things through, through Christ. Christ who gives me strength. Right. I can do all things, but it has to be through Christ. So he said, I can't build this without you. I'm going to rebuild the house of God. Are you kidding? Like he felt, and he did. He, you can find, as you read through like some of his thoughts and stuff, is he, he really struggled with the idea that like Solomon was this great, wisest king ever. They right. built this amazing, how am I going to build right. build God's I can't I'm build exactly. it. I, mean, I barely got out of Gilbert High. How am I going to do this? So to seek him. I think he went to Gilbert High. It says to seek from him the right way for us. Class of 20, 20 AD. How many know we want to have the right way in 2020? Yes, we do. And it probably isn't um, the class of, what is it? It would be 2020 uh, BC. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what class he was in. Okay. I don't even, <laughs> But he wanted the right way, and for our little ones and for all our possessions. And so we're covering our families. We're covering all that God's given us. Right. We're fasting. We're humble. We're saying to God, we need, we need to know the right way right. to do this, too. And so, so are you in your 2020. And he brings out this idea of fasting. You fast, and it seems like, and we know we grew up in a home where mom and dad fasted all the time. Yeah. And it was always getting, we need direction. We need this. We need that. And so they would say, hey, God. Yeah, we're gonna do a fast. And and fasting for our parents and fasting in the Bible, a lot of times it's just it's a, well, it usually has something to do with food, and it's something yes. that you're cutting out. It doesn't mean that they went like like John the Baptist. He ate locusts and honey. Yes, so that was his fast, which I hear is quite scrumptious. <laughs> I use it scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> um, like Rice Krispie treats. Um, oh, what if he did that? Just rice. I'll do Rice Krispie treat and Coke. So there's some kind of Daniel. There was a Daniel fast where it was just veggies and water for uh, a period of time, and, and but Daniel some one, once went 21 days, uh, 21 day yeah. fast. So it's like a, a, a so there's a you, Ted fast. He's just pizza. there's seven day fast. There's three day fast. There's like no certain exact formula. Although we're cutting something out of our food right. that our body wants, and my body wants carbs. And so what could you do? I could carb, carb fast it. Carb fast. No, no carbs for you. No, yeah. And you want to be safe, of course, go to the doctor if you need to, if you have I'm, any kind of health issues. I'm doing a broccoli fast also. I've been doing it for about uh, eight years. 
No broccoli. No broccoli. That's huge. Yeah, I'm really sad for God. Eight years. For you, God. Cut it out. No broccoli. And Brussels sprouts. Oh, man. You can move mountains. I'm moving it. I'm changing the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But one of the things that fasting does, because a lot of times people ask, well, what's fasting really going to do? Jesus yeah. already gave you everything. It, it, it's not going to move God. It's no. going to change you. Yeah. It's it going to do stuff does. on the inside. It's going to improve you. And think about this. You're a spirit, not a flesh. And the spirit and the flesh are at war with each other. So what an awesome thing to tell your flesh. Oh, you have no food for you right now. You don't, you're not but I really to... want sugar. No, well, you don't get any sugar. But I want it. I know, but you're not the boss of me. Right, and I think that's one of the big things. It builds my faith, but it also tells my, my flesh who's in charge. You don't run the show. Yeah. The spirit runs the show. Yeah. Those that live alive, led by the spirit, are the life and peace. Let's pray over the day. Dear Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord, as we go forth and getting ready for this just great, incredible year, the 2020, the year of vision, Lord, that, Lord, that uh, you inspire us and direct us and what to fast and what to give up to build up that faith and get us ready to open up doors, open up direction, tell us direction. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Well, watch this clip. Don't go back. That we're headed in a direction. And the world and life wants us to go back in the other way. As Israel was headed to the promised land, the chatter was to maybe we should just go back to Egypt. And so what happens as we get into the new year, we make resolutions. This is making my life limited. This is what's kind of holding me back. And so I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And we have these New Year's resolutions that last a couple of weeks. But I don't want that to be our 2020. I want 2020 to be a year of revolution where I don't just make a resolution that goes away, but instead I make some life changes and I won't go back to my old ways. I won't go back to my old habits. Like, share, subscribe. Yep. And, and uh, don't forget to be in church this weekend and, and, and pray about uh, your year and pray about the idea that maybe you would go on a fast. We have a lot of resources online. There was a guy that did a 30-day McDonald's fast. He actually made a video of it. He, he didn't eat any McDonald's? He only or, ate McDonald's he, for 30 that's days. That's the guy that almost died, right? Yeah. Well, that's a bad fast. That's a, okay. And that's an important part. You might want to talk to your doctor. Make sure it's a great fast <laughs> a for you. Fast. If you have a condition, you know, be careful with that. Right. Use wisdom with it. Yeah. But maybe consider, like perfectly consider you and maybe your spouse or something going on a fast, you and your friends going on a fast and, uh, and, and getting focused for the new year. Amen.